Well, you look pretty. That's good lighting for you. Oh, You're that's it's just in... my kitchen and normal life. But thank you. You're very kind, Kim. It's always great to talk to you. How are you? How are things going? Well, Bonnie, it's pretty. Uh, it's a dark time right now for me. I'm in in my artistic world because I'm playing. I'm the lead. I'm number one on the call sheet. It's it's been written and directed by an Oscar winner, which I can't mention because it's not in the press yet. We're not allowed to talk about it. Oh, Kim, stop but teasing. That's not fair. That's not, not fair. fair. Not it's fair. not fair, but it's not at all. But I'm I'm telling you what, I'm down here in the south. And I'm playing the guy that's so fucking dark. And so oh, I mean, Lord. it's it's the, the the twist in this movie, Bonnie, is gonna blow people away near the end of the film. And uh yeah, I turned it down at first and then I had a big conversation with the writer director, because a friend of mine has won an Oscar, like I said, and I said, I said, can't can't do it this way, and I'm gonna tell you why, because this guy is just so that dark asshole side of the tracks we need the other side a little bit or it does none of it and he went you're right you're right so in two weeks he prepared me a whole new script wow and i and i said yeah now i'll play this guy so i'm almost done i've been here six weeks um unfortunately the donkey head that we're going to talk about which i'm so proud of yes Aga, my i'm missing all the premieres and all the things because I'm stuck down here in Georgia happily, but I, I I'm so glad I get to talk to you and everybody today and do a little press with this little film that we that we did. Well, little film, I thought it was terrific. I loved it. And, right? and I got to talk to Agam last week and I said to her, you know, one thing about it, um, it's universal. Who can't relate to this family? Oh, I just it, that's keep going, keep talking. Because I <laughs> I, I want more and then I'll talk. Well, you'll get I mean, more, I, you'll get more. But you came on not just as an actor, as a producer as well, co-producer. What struck you? Why did why did you want to be a part of this one so badly? Well, again, that's that's a great question. Bonnie, you know me, you know my work. I, I have no problem saying no. I'm I'm just I'm old now. I'm I'm so happy. Oh, there's you're so not much, old. Stop there's it. So, there's, so, there's so much more left for Kim Coates to do. Good. <laughs> I, I have no problem saying no. And when I got this script, think about this, right? First of all, it's from Anand Ramaya and Kelly Ballon. Yeah. Two Saskatchewan boys who have stayed in Saskatchewan under all the duress of that, of that government there who won't give any money to the arts. Right. They have no idea what they're doing. And the money that they give, you all get back and then some. It's incredible that they've stayed and succeeded the way those two boys have. They have this script called Donkey Head. Oh, wait, it's written, going to be directed and starring by Agam Darshi, I go, wait, hang on, Agam? I know, and, and I look, and I went, she wrote this? Sent it to me, gave it to me. Yeah. Now, Brent, who I'm playing, yes. is, isn't a massive part, no. but it's a great part. Yeah. And I wanted to be a part of it. And to, to work with Agam, uh, I said to both Anand and, and Kelly, I have to be a co-producer on this too, because I want to share artistically everything I think about the film mm -hmm. about the casting about things like that and if Agam's okay with that and she was we came on board and I'm telling you what the script got better and better and better it was yeah. already good but it got better and better and better we made our relationship better and better and better Brent and her uh and then the, the people came and I said we should rehearse we rehearsed for three days that's amazing like, no farting around and you know Bonnie how tough that is to actually rehearse yeah so we we did that and it was in the middle of COVID it was a year ago masks shields the whole thing no one partied no one went out we never did it together anybody we wanted to get through it so for me it was a beautiful combo of everything yeah script director producers and my home province yeah there you Are go you kidding? Win, 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 win. Yeah. 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 Big time. Um, yeah. He's a little bit of a sleaze bag, huh? I think. <laughs> Come on. God, I love you. Oh yeah. There's, no, there's, there's no doubt. I mean, look, any, any, any philandering kind of husband, lawyer guy, you can, you know, be working in a grocery store. If you're married and you're cheating behind her back or she's cheating behind his back or whatever yeah. it is, there's always a bit of a, uh, of, of a, of a, oh, come on. Yeah. You little sleaze bag. However. Yeah. I must say that Ogham, in my opinion, was so smart in understanding that she's kind of lost. as Well, she's mind. a mess. There's no question about it. Yes. She's a mess. Yeah. She's lost. She can't figure it out. She's treading water. She's in that hamster wheel. Brent 
serves a, my character's name is Brent serves a purpose for her. Yeah. And also she serves a purpose for me, whether we like it or not, yeah. they're both struggling in their lives. Right. And this is what makes this story for me. I mean, I've been doing interviews all day and I guess we saving our best one for last Bonnie. Oh, but thank you. <laughs> o- o- honestly, no kidding. This is an international story. Oh, we're becoming, we're becoming better writers now in Canada. Better stories. The film looks amazing. It's in freaking Regina in yeah. January, minus right. 30. Right. Come on. Yeah. So with the look and the story, it's an international dramedy. I thought it was actually going to be even funnier, but the angle of the edit in Ogham and her team went not, not more for the drama, but it's a very powerful family tale in this little city of Regina that has to do with, you know, um, this Sikh family, this, the, that, that's living there as they should be. They're all Canadian, but it's a, it's a, it's an incredible story that needs to be told. And we did it well, I think really well. Oh, I I agree with you. I I really, really enjoyed it. I would have liked to have seen you though, stand up there and sing, Oh Canada. Now, can you still do that without messing up the words? Oh Canada, our heart, our hearts and mate. Home and native uh, yeah. land. Oh, Canada. Oh, is it all changed now? No, oh, our, it was always our home and native land. Home and native land. True patriot love oh, in yeah. all our they yeah. command. Yeah. With glowing hearts we see thee rise. True north strong and free. Uh, and da, 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 da. You, you get it. Well, I get it. You're pretty good. I, uh, okay, you know, i got to ask you something because we love seeing you and everything that you do. Of course, all the stuff you do in the from the U.S. and, you know, you're saying you're working on the secret project that you're not going to tell me about and I'm not happy. But anyway, we'll get there. But why is it what I love about you, Kim, is that you always come back to Canada. You always do stuff here. Thanks. Why is that important to you? I love Canada. It's my country. It's our country. It's it's uh, it's been hard with the orange hair running this country for four years. It was it was really hard to be here. It was really yeah. hard to. And before, you know, with, with the with the the little Bush guy and even the Reagan years, there was there. You can have conversations with your your conservative friends. Yes. You can actually have conversations. But that that all changed with him, the orange haired guy. I never call him by name. So it, it changed with him and under him. And what he meant and what he gave to this, the, the freedom of being racist, the freedom of, of saying these awful things and kindness went out the window. Anyway, that said, I'm still American as well. And yeah. I'm so proud to work in this country with, with some great people. I don't right. care if I'm in Thunder Bay or Seattle. I just want to go where the best work is. And how lucky have I that I've been able to do that? And then you toss in COVID in the whole thing, right? Yeah. When it started in, in that 2019, I think it was, right, March? It, all, two years today. Two years today was the day that everything started to shut. No, oh, the so 11th. It was the 11th. It was about the 11th or 12th. Yeah. Oh, so next okay. week. Yeah. Like, come on. Yeah. Right. right. Bon, we've been through so much as a society. Oh, yeah. yeah. And yet the film business has done it right from day one. We were the first in Canada. Um, I'm not joking. I think it was... It was uh, a show, uh, Chad Oaks was doing a show in, in, Aust- in, in Vancouver in that June, July period of that. And they, were the, and they had to get COVID tested every day. Right. Every day, Van, Van Helsing, and it was Van Helsing, every day, every day, every day. And you couldn't, you couldn't get it, or you had to shut everything down in the hundreds of thousands of dollars. But we did it in Canada first. And Donkey Head was about six, mon- six months in since coming back. And here we are in China. Yeah. And all wearing masks and all getting tested every day, spending money to make what you saw. Yeah, you've yeah. got it done. Yeah. Amazing. Okay. A couple more questions and I'll let you go because I have so much I want to no, ask. I'm good. But um, such a huge fan. I mean, look, Sons of Anarchy. I mean, come on. You, you even, even over COVID, you had new people discovering the show because you can get it on streaming and everything. So constant new fans to that show. Yeah. But you've got your diehard fans, of course. And now, of course, you were, you're doing, you were doing Reaper reviews, which is awesome. Um, what is it about that show? Why were people connecting to it? Why do we love it so much? And, and how much fun did you have doing it? Can I just talk to you every time I do any press, Bonnie? You're 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 hitting it out of the park, girl. Listen, the one th- we could talk about it for days, but I will say this: that before Sons, Kim Coates was known mostly as, "Oh, you're that guy. Oh, you're the guy from Last Boy Scout. Oh, you're the guy from the Client. Oh, you're the guy from Open Range. Goon, you're that guy." 
Yeah. And then I always did arcs on TV, but I never wanted to be a regular. I'm a film guy. I didn't want to be a regular on a TV show. I just wanted to do movies. And then Sons comes along. Wow. I say I'll do it. I had no idea of the power of TV for so many reasons. And as you know, Bonnie, in that Sopranos changed the world for TV, in my opinion, for that cable, dark, mm -hmm. incredible writing. Every film actor wanted to do TV after the Sopranos and it became better. FX, their shows, better, better. And Sons came at the right time for Kim Coates to then be, oh, you're Kim Coates. You played Tig on Sons of Anarchy. So it's given me in a, in a way that I had no idea imaginable. I guess I'm a bit of a, a star name now. I guess I can get movies financed now because I have enough fans around the world that know me as Kim Coates from Sons and Bad Blood and these other movies I'm doing. Yeah. It's, it's, you know, I went back to the stage with Jerusalem with my daughter, Brenna. Yeah. A, couldn't, couldn't get a ticket for that. And we won every award possible. I mean, I'm, I'm just a proud Canadian boy who continues to not be afraid to fail. I'll stumble along the way, but man, Donkey Head and his movies I'm doing and TV, it's all, it's a good time to, to be in the business for me. Well, that's fantastic. Well, we are always happy to see you in whatever you do. And thank you so much for your time. And now, now I've got to sit tight and wait on this secret movie that you're doing. Bonnie, you're not telling you, have, me you, you have to call me. You have to, you have to talk about it. I will. Once it's, oh. once, it, once it's in the press, you get a hold of me and we'll talk about it. I'll talk it's about it all the time. It's a deal. Okay. I've, I'm good. I have this on tape now. Do it. Okay. Have there it on you tape. Go. Kim, Love thank you, you so much for your time. Always a pleasure. Take bye, care. Baby. Take okay. care. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.